Hey everyone, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to another music reaction. Today we're reacting to The Prayer by Pentatonix. Now, this is a Pentatonix tune that has been requested in a lot of my Pentatonix videos, especially the ones I was doing around Christmas time. I always made it kind of a point, I really tried to avoid doing Christmas stuff outside of the Christmas season, but they've got so much in the repertoire and there's so much Christmas stuff for me to react to anyways that I don't really need to save it all for the Christmas season so I'm willing to make a few exceptions and this is gonna be one of those cases since it's been so strongly suggested from what I understand if I uh, recall correctly this is actually an original song of theirs so I think actually now that I think about it I think this is actually gonna be the first original pentatonic song I've heard and one that wasn't a cover so really looking forward to seeing what they really have to offer here not that i'm expecting anything other than absolute greatness because i don't think there's been a pentatonix video i've reacted to that i have not thoroughly enjoyed and i'm really sure that i'm going to enjoy this one um you know obviously with you know the winery theme i'm assuming that it is probably on uh, their holiday album so i don't exactly know the kind of tone it'll take just based on the name i'm assuming it's probably gonna be a. Uh, I guess you could say a gentle tune, but either which way, really looking forward to it. So we will go ahead and get started with it. I will leave a link to the original video in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started. I already love how it's starting. Very beautiful harmonies. I pray you'll be our right and watch us where we go and help us to be wise in times when we don't know. Y'all. We're not even a full minute into this song and I'm already feeling the feels start to well up inside. This is absolutely beautiful. I totally get why this was so suggested. And I know some of y'all have talked about how it's a song that will really stir up a lot of emotions and it does. And man, oh man, Mitch. Whew. I, I, I. I don't got words right now. I just, I don't, I wish I did, but I just don't. Let this be our prayer. My goodness. When we lose our way. Lead us to a place. Guide he is knocking us out of the park. Oh, what is this? Okay, y'all, I don't know what language Scott was doing his part in. There was a part of me that wanted to say maybe Japanese. I could totally be off. I mean, it could be rushed for all I know. But the I loved what him and Mitch did there, where Scott would sing his part, and then Mitch 
the way I'm assuming, I'm assuming that what he's doing is Mitch is singing the translation of what Scott was singing. That was very beautifully done. Such, I mean, those two, I mean, you talk about, you know, people going together like peanut butter and jelly. Scott and Mitch, like, fit that to a T. Everything about this song is just absolutely brilliant. And as I said before, it's like you feel the emotions welling up and they just don't let up. A world where pain and sorrow will be in Now you got everybody in it. And every heart that's broken will be mended And will remember We're oh, wow. all God's children Reaching out to touch Him Reaching to the sky y'all that was the prayer by pentatonix and near the end I, I out loud said not gonna cry not gonna cry and then near the end said might be yeah i didn't make it i don't know if you could tell with the lighting and everything but yeah i didn't make it. <laughs> i did not make it i'm still trying to recover a little bit oh my goodness what a song y'all were not lying that was beautiful I did catch uh, um, right after the song ended when they do their little thank you that they did say it was a cover. So I thought it was an original, but I apparently was wrong. But I original or not, that was absolutely beautiful. I don't. I mean, obviously, the thing I love the most about them is how well they do their harmonies. But. Scott and Mitch together with what they did on that was just absolutely brilliant. Um, it, you know, obviously when you throw Kirstie in there, like when I said, the thing that I love about Pentatonix numbers I've noticed is how they build up to a climax and you can tell pretty much when that's about to hit because it's like once everybody starts going in full force, you know that's where they finally throw that haymaker. It's like they've jabbed you long enough. Now they're throwing in the haymaker to knock you out. And then you're just down for that 10 count. You know, and that's pretty much how it went. You know, so pretty much par for the course, I guess you could say. But uh, good Lord Almighty, such a beautiful song. As I said, you know, in my first uh, pausing monologue that... I completely understand why this was so widely suggested and rightfully so not that any songs that you guys have suggested haven't been rightly suggested you know as I've said in many more of my reaction videos no matter who it's been I don't think there's been anybody that you guys have suggested to me that I have not really enjoyed so this was such a treat and I'm glad that I decided to go against my whole you know, no Christmas themes outside of the Christmas season because, man, 
I, I will say this. This is probably going to go on my Christmas playlist now for sure. Oh, my goodness. Um, I think that's pretty much going to do it right there. So thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, if you'd like to, feel free to check out my other reactions to Pentatonix. Hope you all enjoy those as well. And I will catch you all down the road.